Get the image that you want to turn into a character portrait and remove the background. Put the character on one of the leader portrait backgrounds from the Ultimate Hoi4 GFX repository. Upload this image and any Hoi4 character portrait to your Google Drive. Go to TensorFlow's style transfer notebook linked in the description. You'll need to make three changes. First, you need to change the content and style paths. Delete these two lines and replace them with these. This mounts your Google Drive, loading a content image to stylize and an image to get the desired style from. Type in the path to the images after the My Drive folder. In this code, both images are at the root of my Google Drive. Second, scroll down to the code block that has train step written three times in a row and delete this code block and the following code block. Finally, scroll down to the bottom and change the number of epochs from 10 to 20. After making these changes, you can select runtime run all and scroll down to the end to see your portrait being generated. For final polish, I recommend replacing the background with the original Hoi4 leader background and denoising the image in GIMP. Whilst making my own mod, I developed a utility tool that generates files needed while modding Hoi4. First, you can auto-generate GFX files from a directory of images within your custom mod folder. Simply select the root of your mod, the image folders to create GFX files for, and the output directory, and hit generate. Second, you can generate advisor portraits from a directory of images of characters. This also adds the Hoi4 character background to characters with transparent backgrounds. If you followed the steps to create a character earlier, you can just remove the background of the character and place them in their own directory. When adding this directory, select apply filter. This will automatically apply a slight blur and sharpen to automatically denoise the image. Third, you can create national focus icons using both a character image without a background and a paint.net focus frame from the ultimate Hoi4 GFX repository. Fourth, you can generate generic characters from folders of character images. This automatically adds them to all countries in the game and provides an outline to use in character files. Finally, you can generate localization files from IDs, character names, or image names. The default localization text replaces underscores with spaces and capitalizes the first letter of every word. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and join me next time where I explain how to add in 60 seconds.